Hey everybody, welcome back. Welcome to Sunday Brunch Live. Hope you guys are doing good. Having an awesome weekend. Getting some rest and relaxation. Jumped on here a smidge early, so hopefully that works for everybody. What's up, Hilltop Knives and Gear? What's happening? Member of Zach's Daily Carrier Crew. We got Paul in the house. We got Crystal in the house. What's up, Crystal? We got DE in the house. What's up, DE? Hope you guys are doing good. We got Dane here. What's up, Dane? We got David, Snuggle Tummy, Penny, Mikey Rast, Nick, Alcus, Kloss, David Payne, Jason Brown, and Glock by my side. What's up, you guys? Hey, a Therapeutic Edge is here. What's up, Peter? I'm going to move this up just a smidge. We just want to show off some of these beautiful coins that are here. We'll talk about these in a minute. Yeah, some very nice coins. Winchester's in the house. What's up, Winchester? Peoples are good, man. Peoples are good. Nice day of relaxation. G-Man W's in the house. What's up, G-Man? Yeah, that new Mini Warrior Olight. You're getting all three? Nice. Yeah, I was trying to think of which one I wanted to get, and then they did that bundle, and I'm like, oh, man. I know what Big Red's getting. Knife Whisper, what's up, man? Hopefully you guys got your favorite drink on hand. We're going to be here for about an hour or so. I got my uh, Dutch Bros tea. So we're supporting a little Dutch Bros today. They did a buck for kids yesterday, which is pretty cool. What's up, John? Good morning. <sighs> got to put that somewhere where it's going to be okay to leak a little bit. Have a sweaty cup. If you know what I mean. A little perspiration. Oh, cinnamon stick tea with honey. Nice. A little brown sugar. Oh, I haven't tried it with that. That sounds delicious. We'll put a little piece of paper down. That should help. What's up, big reds in the house? Another member of Zach's Daily Carry Crew. If you see people, they got their name in green. And they got a little ZS next to their name. That means they're part of Zach's Daily Carry Crew. Uh, you get exclusive content. Um, this week we'll post the uh, knives for sale. I'm getting that wrapped up today. So that's kind of cool. Uh, you get some exclusive content like, you know, you get to see things early. I know a couple weeks ago I posted this cigar cutter video. Um, yeah, there's Big Red with the links. <laughs> What's up, Big Red? Thanks. Um... Oh, Knife Whisper got his 20 CV Griptilian on deck today. Nice. Oh, let's do a pocket check, I guess. That'll work. We'll do it right out of the gate here. Carrying the new Carbon Fiber Revo Ness. Really great budget folder. Very nice. What's up, Cliff Da Vinci? As if you guys have seen my Instagram, I just posted this. I'm carrying this today. This is the Composite Light Auto from Benchmade. And this is a limited edition one they did. What's up, C. Lemansky? Got the Reich Tule, nice. Leong Ma Warrior 2, nice. Concept Spirit. Oh, nice slicers, what's up? You got a nice cup of black currant juice for you, nice. This has a beautiful carbon fiber. Yeah, it's a push button auto. Nice, got the mini bug out. DE's in the house, what's up DE? Church carries a ZT0620. Got the Super Freak, see the Mansky tearing it up. Get the mini grip, the pair of three. What's up, Jade? Pair of three, lightweight, and M390. Nice. Oh, the Cardinal turned blue. <laughs> 9400 and a Chaparral. Nice. CF Elite Bug Out and a Coca Cola. Very nice, Jeff. Oh, I'm sorry, John. My eyes are tricking me. DE's relaxing. Nice slicers got the Chavez Sanger Street today. Penny's got the Delica. This is a beautiful knife. Um, you know, if you haven't seen, what's up Randy F, welcome. If you haven't seen uh, their composite light autos, 
you know they have the push button on here very thin it's got the blue accents on this one which is cool it's got the pocket clip you can tell i've been carrying this one so got into apex nice yeah right on that's cool knife whisper uh it's got a lock on here so if you're worried about it torching off in your pocket it locks right up but it's super lightweight now they make a standard g10 version of this i highly recommend it they came out with this one which is carbon fiber here about two years ago uh it was a hot seller it went fast i only picked up one of them and uh i wish i would have got two because it's pretty awesome so but it's a nice slicing knife you can see it next to the wee banter here um you know so it's a good size pocket knife and it's pretty thin so Anyways, shout out to my guy Glock by my side. This is a, was a gift from him, and it's been a favorite of mine. I'm on day three of 14 days of Benchmade, which is an Instagram tag that JT's Knife Life passed on and kind of started a new little group of it. And, uh, of course, he asked me to be a part, and I was happy to take part in that. So this is day three's carry of it. I'm kind of picking out what I want to do for this week. Um, because I want it to be functional at work as well. So, anyways, uh, let's get into what we got for coins on the table. Now, I have to say, this one's pretty special. It's a very, very awesome coin. Uh, it's a United States Navy coin. It was a gift to me uh, by Big Red, or from Big Red, when he came and visited. Uh, pretty awesome, man. You can see the detail work. It's a beautiful coin. So thank you, my friend. This is pretty rad. I dig it. Uh, this one right here is for Camp Rosenbaum. This is one I got here a little bit ago. And it's really, a, you know, Camp Rosenbaum's just a collaboration between like uh, the Portland Police Bureau, the Oregon National Guard, uh, and so many other, and a group called Home Forward, and so many other uh, law enforcement first responder agencies. And they basically have just done a camp down at uh, a military camp on the coast here every year. This is the first one they didn't because of COVID, but they did kind of a virtual one. But this is this was supposed to be their 50-year anniversary. So they kind of did 49 and a half. But it's pretty cool because they've been doing it since 1970. And it basically, um, you know, is a camp for kids that may not be able to go to camp. And they get to do so many things. And it's a whole week. And it's a, it's a pretty awesome deal. So anyways, if you want to know more about it, let me know, or you can look up Camp Rosenbaum, but I'm happy to support that. And then this one's from EDC Specialties. It's got the evil damn cat, always prepared, always alert. And then, of course, Hanson approved, and this is number 52. So these were pretty awesome, and uh, you can still, I think, pick these up, I'm, I think. But what's up, John West? Monster Racing's in the house. Welcome, welcome. But, yeah, so those are the coins I have today. So those are kind of cool. Oh, you got that one coming? Yeah, that was. I think I remember you saying that you were. Uh, you may have been uh, off to order that. So, sorry, I got to straighten that sticker out a little bit. But it's a cool one. Looks like your cat. There you go. And it almost kind of looks like something that was familiar, but this one's a little bit more uh, personalized. The Holy Smokes from Big Red EC. That's 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 pretty awesome right there. So, anyways. Good stuff overall, good coins, good people, good organizations. Put these two by themselves next to each other. Oh, nice slicers. Thank you so much. Yeah, Super Chat's open. Any donations uh, to the channel will go to, right back to the channel, right back to you guys. Um, and that kind of brings up another thing as well. Uh, if I can talk just for a minute on... Um, yeah, so Hollywood Tactical, welcome. Yeah, Donkey Dave, what's up, man? Uh, so basically, poc you know, these challenge coins are for different things. It's to like memorialize certain things. Like this one's a 50 year anniversary one. You know, it could be just could be just something that you use for like, um, you know, celebrating certain things about your business. Like that one has the cat, and you know, Hanson, which is two things of their company. Or you can have ones like this that, you know, kind of commemorate the Navy itself. Um, and then they have certain ones, I know like military, uh, fire, police, those kind of things. They get into more like um, events. Like if there's a certain event or maybe they're doing a celebration or anniversary 
or maybe gets a, somebody gets a certain award or something or rank or they're on a certain mission, um, they do certain coins for those things. So kind of like a patch collection, but for coins. So I think I have about, because I've got I have a few Benchmade coins as well and very unit specific as well. Okay, yeah, Big Red says they have unit ones as well. So, and I've seen a lot of military ones. I know a few people in the military and they have a lot because they're involved in so many different things. Um, and it's kind of nice because you can look back on it and you can go, oh yeah, you know, I remember the, you know, we went and did that mission and, or we were, I was part of that unit and we did those things and kind of, you know, kind of cool to look back on. So, but it brings me to another thing. Yeah. Blade HQ needs to hurry up with that bug out for sure. Mikey, I was, you know, I was happy they were pushing it. Um, but yeah, so I want to talk about a few things really quick. Um, one is the giveaway that I'm doing and it, yeah, exactly, David. Great way to show pride in a unit and event. But I'm doing a giveaway. Um, it's gonna run until, um, in, it's running until October, and it's basically, um, or into October, and it basically is in regards to the um, fundraiser and GoFundMe for a member of this community. Um, and it's, it's an awesome thing. So many people have jumped up over the last week and not only donated to the GoFundMe, but sent in things for the giveaway. So uh, today's my first day off, and there's a link right there uh, from Big Red. Thank you so much. What's up, Nias Fast? And I would ask that you would take a minute to go check out that link if you want to just open it in a new tab and head over there or look at it while we're, while we're chatting here today. That would be super. It's one of those things that so a great person in our community, a therapeutic edge, he needs a little help. And, you know, we are always about helping each other out. And so I think this is one of those things that we can do to really help him. And you don't understand, like, I'm going to do a B, or today I'm filming an updated giveaway video that I'll post later this week. And there's so many people that have sent things in and people that have, give, you know, donated things out of their collection to boost the giveaway. So that's going to go out this week. And... I can, all I can say is thank you. And this community is amazing. Um, this week's been pretty tough, you know, especially in our community, uh, the whole West coast, there's so many people going through things and it's all good monster. You know, we all do what we can, you know, exactly do something kind for someone, you know, we're all, we're all about that, you know, and that's what we can to help each other out. And that's why we're here, you know, is to have that camaraderie, and we can hang out and we can chat and we can have good times. And we know when somebody needs some help, we can be there for them. So anyways, um, definitely take a minute to go check that out. You know, if you have the opportunity to even just, you know, kick in $5, it'll get you an entry into that. So yeah, there's some sweet stuff. And then of course the overall, you know, I don't even know if I can say it's like the number one giveaway out of that, but you know, one of the top ones is I'm giving away a custom Benchmade bug out. So if you want to build, if you want to build one like this, you can go build one like this. Yeah, definitely monster. It's the, it's the best community that I've been involved with. So it's fantastic. Um, you can build one like this with FRN scales. You can build, yeah, big red likes that one. You can build one like this with G10 blue. You can build so many different styles. I had a couple other ones that I've, you know, built up and I'm ready for, but I just haven't, uh, haven't had the funds to pull the trigger yet. So, but I'm, I'm happy to take everything that you guys have donated to this channel. And that's why I'm giving that directly and in, back into this giveaway, because I feel it's important for us to take care of each other and give back. And that's what I want to do. So anyways, yeah, Peter and Christine, great people, women carry knives. Um, she's got a cool website as well. And then, um, a therapeutic edge, good stuff. So Travis Robbins, welcome B for Baron. Is there a bug out in aluminum? Not yet. Nope. I was told that new scale styles will be coming out, um, later. And I'm guessing before the end of the year. Take a little drink of tea. What's up, Scott Bond? Welcome, welcome. So anyways, 
that's my speech about it. Um, this week has really made me realize like just how important and how basic things are in life. Um, you know, I spent a lot of time not only being in an evacuation area for fires, um, but for my work, being involved directly with, um, you know, evacuations and getting supplies out to certain areas. And what really struck me was, yep, Dutch Bros, I had to, Big Daddy. Yep, Big Red, I had to, you know, I had a little help picking that one up this morning. So, okay, some props out to Mrs. on that, but... Um, that's one of those things where it's like, well, a lot of people lost everything, you know, um, that's great, Mikey. Thank you so much. And one of those things where, you know, you get out and realize like the communities that have pulled together to help everybody is amazing. And there's so many people out there that at the end of the day, no matter what you feel, what you believe, who you talk to, you know, who you hang out with, everybody out there is just like, let's do it, you know. What's up, Joshua Wilson? I appreciate it, buddy. Yeah, nice. So it's just, it's super crazy in, uh, of an impact. And, you know, you get home, and I had some really long days this week, and this being my first day off, I just want to talk about it for a minute and tell you kind of what I've been going through. And it's one of those things where you're just like, you recognize like, holy cow, like everything we did this week, there's people going through even more and all you can do is just help out. So anyways, do something kind for someone really stuck in my head all week. And it was one of those things that, you know, I wanted to relay to you guys because it really made me open my eyes. Like, you know, yeah, some people are packing all um, that they can into a bag and running out their door you know, and that's the last they'll see of everything. So definitely puts it in perspective. Um, what's up, Tim Cook? No, the back view. Nice. Don't have the volume up too loud. Yeah. Thanks monster. Yeah. It's one of those things. So I just want to bring that up. That's what's been happening with me this week. It's been awesome to be able to help out, um, and not have the worry anymore right now of, you know, having to evacuate my own place. So I know that was, it was imminent last week and, you know, so many awesome things done by the firefighters. It was pretty good. Yeah. They're getting them contained a little bit. We had some pounding rains for about a day and a half, um, that came through and it kind of helped put out, you know, some of the bigger stuff, but they have a lot of, uh, you know, still fires going, uh, all over the whole state. Um, the one closest to us is still about, Oh, seven to 10 miles away from us. And, um, it, but it, they've got the front edge of it contained, but everything else is still going pretty good. So what's up rip city EDC. So they've got a lot of stuff still in place. They'll be, you know, they'll be fighting the fire for a couple more months, I'm sure. Um, but they got some really good crews in town now. And so they're putting in all those, the crazy work and it's amazing to see. So anyways, Portland's cleared up. There's not as much smoky air, which is fantastic. We were like the worst in the world for like a couple days there of, of air pollution. So now we can breathe easier, which is great. And I know that that went over like the whole Western, almost Southwest central United States. So excuse me. Yeah, Mikey, that's what kind of started all this. We had a crazy windstorm and some fires that just went crazy and got out of control. So then the winds were reversed as the normal out here. And so it was blowing everything basically into town. And so they were getting everybody packed up and leaving because it was burning through town. So that's great. Yeah, the rain is definitely good to see. So uh, what's up, Grim Reaper? Howdy, howdy. So anyways, so let's get into a couple things. Um, we're looking at... Don't forget, you still have a deal through Southern Edge Knife Works. You can get 15% off on any of your orders through them, and you get $5 flat shipping. So that's a pretty smoking deal. So that goes right back to you. Um, they've sent some stuff out for reviews. You saw last week. Um, you'll be seeing the review come up on the this beautiful sun and moon. Thanks, Big Red. The mother of pearl inlay on this, the G10. 
and then the white with the red. So kind of a cool little, I think it's what, the Chaparral? The sun and Moon Chaparral. Pretty awesome stuff. So anyways, um, one of the things that we talked about from the giveaway was right here. You can still build one of these as well, Mini Crooked River, as well as the bug outs that are out there. Um, this orange and black one, I'm an orange and black fan. Not as much as the blue and black, but the orange and black is probably my second. And it's one of those things where you can still buy, build this stuff on the website, make some cool ones. If you follow my Instagram, you can check those out. I've been posting some, some cool customs this week, so... Yeah, the Sun and Moon one looks pretty nice, so I'm digging it. Uh, one of the things that we saw this week, you'll be seeing a, a use video coming up in about the next week or so. Uh, I just posted the unboxing. Yeah, that is the CLA. It's a CLA and carbon fiber. It's pretty sweet. There, so I'll show it again in a second. It's got a cool chis chisel grind. It's got that familiar locking mechanism. We won't call it an axis but we'll call it an automatic cigar cutter. It's got that rich light handles that you kind of saw on the All If You May, the 381 from Benchmade. But I know this doesn't appeal to everybody, but it's not for fingers. Fingers don't go in here. Oh, you got one for your dad, nice. Yeah, and it retails about, uh, I think full retail is like 250, so you should see them in that price range or less, so. Anyway, it's kind of a cool thing. But it's one of those that just posted up on my website for review. And yeah, Rip City, here's that CLA and carbon fiber. Pretty nice. I wish they would do this one again. Or maybe do a blacked out version with carbon fiber. Yeah, that CLA, I missed out on picking up another one. They had two and I'm like, oh, I'll just get one. Man, I should have bought two, you know. Yeah, the Crooked Rivers are where it's at, you know. Um, full size or mini, they're both good. So, and I think you can use, uh, for Southern Edge Knife Works, uh, myself and Big Red have a code for it, so you can use either one of ours. Helps if you split them up, then uh, at least they know that you're coming through our channel. So, that's the only thing, because they send these in for review, uh, and then we get to give them away, which is kind of cool, so... Get a little drink of tea. Let's see what else we got here. I got a cool little thing this week. Um, and it was a new sticker for my collection. And it was from my guy, D-Man One-on-One. He's an EDC specialist. There's a sticker. Yeah, Monster, that, that series of my collection is being planned out right now. Um, as you can imagine, uh, I'm going to have a little bit harder time showing off the uh, Benchmades than anything else. So, Oh, man. <laughs> nice slicers. Too funny, buddy. But, yeah, he's uh, he's he does all sorts of custom work. Handmade custom knives, refurbishing pimping out, customizing, fabrication. Oh, Big Red, man. Thank you so much. Being one of the kindest ambassadors of the EDC community. Man, that's a heavy title, bro. I would happily share that with you. Um, but if you need some stuff done, D-Man 101 or one-on-one -on -one is out there. I'm going to send something to him to kind of see how his work is, but I've heard it's pretty good. So thank you for sending that sticker out. I want to add that to my collection. I'm creating like a poster board kind of thing to show off all the stickers um, because it's it's going to fill up more than my whole table. So thanks, Big Red, for that donation. That's very kind, man. Yeah, my whole Benchmade collection is going to be a little over 300 knives right now. So don't tell anybody. I don't want to get in trouble. Uh, Gold Class Proper, 500. That's a good deal, Parker. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, I mean the thing is, they they came out at seven fifty. So if you could find one at five hundred, that's a smoking deal. What's up, Chris Wolf? Chris Wolf, Chris Wolf is in the house. I was trying to see if I had my gold class bug out in here. 
Yeah, brand loyalty, I know, I hear ya. It's hard though, because I live so close, you know? They're like right around the corner. Well, of course, where would the bug out be? It'd be in the bug out bag. I was just going to get that gold class one out and show it to you guys because it's a pretty sweet knife. But here's that gold class bug out. It's beautiful. Uh, at first, I was like, man, there's a lot going on with it. I had somebody kind of trick out the pocket clip. It's, it's a standard pocket clip with laser markings. I get a lot of questions about that. <laughs> Thanks, Gregory. Appreciate you uh, looking out. Yeah, I Penny, I didn't count them. I said there's over 300. I only know that because I had to count them for something else I was doing. And so once I hit 300, I stopped. So I didn't want to know anymore. But I was trying to look for... Whoops. Got knives spilling out all over. Yeah, this is Damasteel. This is a uh, real Damasteel. And you can see the Benchmade logo there. Kind of disappears depending on what light you're in. There's the pocket clip on it. It's the same exact pattern as the Damasteel blade. It's just laser marked on there. What's up, Russ? Welcome, welcome. And then I'm trying to, I was trying to find, without making a huge mess, my little flashlight here. Because I was going to show off the glowing handles. Because that's like the coolest, trickiest part of the knife, right? But it looks like that flashlight's somewhere. Oh, Chris, holy cow, man. Happy Sunday. Definitely. Thank you so much. What is the oldest Benchmade I have? Uh, so I have John. Thank you very. That's a good question. Yeah, you have some old ones too. So I have some. Um, I do have the Gold Class Crooked River. Yes, my oldest one is from 1999. No, 2000. I think it came out in the first production. Came out like 2000 officially, um, but it was a Benchmade 940. Uh, first production, number eight of a thousand. Uh, here's the gold class Crooked River right here. Mini Crooked River, that is. I don't have the full size one. The full size one's pretty awesome, but to me, the mini had way more better details than. Oh, thanks, Big Red. Getting into the history of Benchmade. It depends on how far back you want to go there, Slick. Um, you can get into like when they were a company under Bally Song and go on that route or when they kind of paired up or teamed up with, um, Spyderco on some things and truly became Benchmade back in like, I think it was like 85 or something like that. Yeah. The 940 scales fade out, pre uh, you know, pretty evenly. Mine's, mine's worn down pretty good. I think the blades even like only like two thirds of what it used to be because I had it sharp and I was using it every day. So, Oh, nice. You have a mini cricket from the custom knife builder. That's awesome. Yeah. That's some good knives. You guys, this bug out has the factory edge. Yeah. I just drop it, uh, in between uses and it works pretty good. Um, this has been my, and this is a Timascus backspacer from rock scale designs it's hard to see the details on it but got some cool lines and colors on it looks even prettier when it's not in the when it's not in the knife but oh you're welcome peter you are definitely welcome a therapeutic edge most definitely man i'm just glad we can help out and there's more help coming you know um there's so much, so much awesome stuff coming up this week and in the future. So, um, let's see here. 
Your oldest bench made is a bally from somebody in the early mid. Yeah, those are awesome, Chris, if you have those. So, let's see here. Oh, John, yours partially faded partially because it was partially covered for. Oh, wow. You got a cool look to it, I bet, then. No, this was an addition. The, the backspacer, it had the blue barrel spacers. But I put this one on there. It's from uh, Rock Scale Design. So he still sells them. So you can just buy them and upgrade them, which is pretty awesome. So he usually puts his uh, stock up every Saturday morning. And then when it sells out for the week, it's sold out for the week. So oh, you bought it as a kid and destroyed it. Oh, no. Yep, got to help the community. What's up, Oregon Knife Guy? Welcome, welcome. Well, Peter, I know you do it for us, so that is the coolest part. Big Red's just nailing it with those links, buddy. Thank you so much. Thanks, Gregory. So I want to talk about something else I got this week. It was uh, from a little company that we know, Smoky Mountain Knife Works. I had to place an order, um, and I've been sitting on it for a little while because I'm waiting for another order to show up. But it's a fun knife from a fun company. It's the Rough Rider Denim Micarta Work Knife. This is a work knife, right? Big Red will correct me if I'm wrong on it. Formerly known as Bony Blades. Oh, okay. Nice. We'll get that nice and shined up. Look at that beautifulness. Just all sorts of beauty. Oh, thanks, Chris. That's that's awesome, man. Thank you so much. Got the Rough Rider branding. Those beautiful, beautiful denim Macarta. What's up, Brewer95? Yeah, and I think for like sixteen ninety nine, you can't go wrong, you know. Um, this is one of those that I'm happy to hear that they bought some more or got some more in stock. What's up, David Payne? But they are in stock right now. If you like it, definitely go check it out. Um, I will say this. This one will be part of the giveaway today. So if you like this one, this one will be part of the giveaway. So anyways, pick that up from Smoky Mountain the day, the day they announced it, had it inbound. I may have ordered a couple of them, but this one will be part of the giveaway today. Brand new out of the box. Just been opened just now. Can't go wrong. Beauty. And I think mine's pretty decent on the back. Pretty decent. Got a little bit of a, a mar right there, but looks like just from buffing or something. Yeah, you may have to play today for sure, Big Red. Everyone's welcome to play. Oh, thanks, David. Yeah, I was talking about that earlier, how many awesome things people are sending in, and I'm gonna do a updated giveaway video the middle of this week. And it's just going to talk about all the people like yourself, um, Big Red, everybody who sent stuff in, and then the people like yourself who have sent stuff in since this past weekend. So anyways, that's pretty awesome, just the outpouring of support for this giveaway and to help out our brother Peter there. So yeah, that's cool stuff. What's up, Menace with a Knife? Menace with a Knife. Yeah, the copper coils are pretty cool too. I've seen those. Those are pretty pretty rad. I got a couple other little things for the patch collection. I got a keep calm and carry on. So that's kind of cool. And I got an American flag punisher. These are all patches. So I'm going to put those on some different things. I have a couple knife bags that and EDC bags that need some more patches. So 
use the bug out in a hunting situation? I have not used it in a hunting situation, Don C. I would imagine it would hold up decently. I'm not sure on the edge, you'd probably have to determine on what steel you're using. Uh, David says, I ordered an epic knife today. Well, you got to share, man. Yeah, the Rough Rider Reserve line looks very, very promising. So hopefully, if you guys have seen that video that Andy did this last week, and he kind of showed off the first three, and then he teased us with a fourth one that's coming, that's all him, according to what Melina said. Um, that's good stuff. So the Rough Rider Reserve line, I think, starts around the $30 to $40 range. Um, but it's pretty cool. There's three of them right now. You can sign up for Notify Me Now. Or email me when they're in stock. They should be coming in stock in the next week or two. They just didn't have an exact release date yet. So stay tuned to Smoky Mountain Knife Works. They do the uh, their live videos usually Tuesdays and Thursdays in the mornings. Well, it depends on where you're at, I guess. 9 a.m. on the West Coast, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. 40 to 55, yeah. Well, that's good, man. That's good. What's up, Women Carry Knives? Christine's in the house. Everybody give her a little shout out. She's also a member of Zach's Daily Carry Crew. Thank you so much. Looking at a couple knives today. We're talking about the awesome people of our community. And then we are talking about one of the giveaway things, which will be this beautiful Denim Carta Rough Rider knife tonight. Or today, this afternoon, wherever you're at, however you'd like it. Good, good stuff. Okay, what else can we get into? Well, let's get into something else here. Now, I know a few people have featured this. I first saw this on EDC Specialties. Uh, I follow them on Instagram, and they used a kit when they had a nasty nasty cut to one of their thumbs and it's the finger cut kit uh, you've also seen a little review from our buddy JB on this one big red and so this is one of those that uh, I ordered a couple of these because to me this is a necessity for anyone that handles knives on the daily um, and especially me, I've already been cut once good. This would have been super helpful, but you can see all the stuff that it includes there. And basically what happens is the ring goes over your finger, past the cut, you then clean out and totally dry the cut because all the blood will stop because of this rubber ring. And then you get it all bandaged up and then you can basically break these tabs. You can, you know, push on these two right here, break the tabs and I'll do a little review on this too. Hopefully not with a cut, but and then you just tear the rubber and it all comes off. So you don't have to bring it back over the cut. So it's pretty, it's awesome. Um, they did a live demo on the Instagram of uh, EDC Specialties this last week. Because Devil Dog got a nasty, nasty cut on his finger. And, or on his thumb. And had to get it all bandaged up. So anyways, they also sell this on their site. But I would definitely check them out. Uh, Big Red put the, the link up there to fingercutitnow.com. Uh, it's a necessity. So since it's a necessity and I'm giving away a knife today, this is also going to be in the giveaway today. So you're going to get those two for sure. So we're just going to put that right up there. Two things you got to have for sure. Let's bring it down a little bit so you can see it. Plus so it doesn't look like something else that's on the table. I mean, if you can only see this part of it, it would look a little weird. There was a little box sitting up there, right? Without writing. How about that? Yeah, that would look a little weird. So we'll, we'll bring it down like that. Uh, let's see. Yeah, exactly. Exactly, Peter. Yeah, I wouldn't catch any of them. Um, Yeah, I think everybody's cut themselves good at least once, but yeah, so that's a graphic video of the finger cut kit in use. Uh, I'm guessing that's the one from ADC Specialties, and it's pretty gnarly, so anyways, they both 
I think both the guys down there have nailed themselves pretty good in the last month um, or two. His might have been two months ago, but anyways, to me, this is like awesome because the hardest part about getting cut on a finger or a thumb is, okay, thanks, Big Red. Thank you. That's awesome. Is getting it the bleeding stopped while you can get it patched up or glued together or whatever. So this kind of takes that job out of it, no matter what you're going to do. Um, you know, and I think a lot of the stuff is if the blood's gone and it's dried up and clean, you can glue it, you can tape it and you can glue it, then tape it, whatever. And you're good to go. So anyways, and there's a time limit on it, which I think is what? 60 minutes. Yeah. Max 60 minutes. So otherwise it'll take more than just the blood out of your finger. It'll take your whole finger. Hey, hey, what's up, Steve Kluver? Yeah, it does work on Vulcans with green blood. Um, we're waiting for a live demo of it, but the scientific stuff said the green blood will stop as well. Yeah, exactly. Well, I hope not all my knives taste my blood, so that I'd, I'd be like in a world of hurt at that point. Uh, so yeah, so we got that to give away today. So that's going to be part of the giveaway, which is pretty awesome. So we've kind of covered uh, what's everybody carrying today. Um, I want to know what knife you guys are seriously looking at next. That's my question for today. Is what's next on your list? Um, whether it be a month from now, two months from now, next week when it drops in a week, whatever. I would definitely monster. Yes, definitely. Okay. A sunfish blue mule. You just got it. Okay. I'll have to look that one up. Yo, Joe, the Luku. Okay. Nice. Luku is fun. It's a good size one too. The Ryan Solaris. Yes. See the Mansky. I'm waiting for that one too. I'll pinch made bug out a pair of three. Okay, an anthem. Yeah, nice. The anthem's good. Mikey says the worst cut was with my Lever Leatherman wave with serrations. Oh man. Hopefully you kept your finger. Riot Bushido. Hmm. The Wee Anx is a nice one, Mike Johnson. I'll have to look at that, Kloss. I haven't seen that one, I don't think. The Blade HQ Jade Yojumbo or Yojimbo and M4. Oh yeah, the Blade Exclusive Bug Out. That's what I'm waiting for too. Endura LC200N. Okay. Main X2 Lightweight. Ooh, Beer Monday. Nice. Okay. I want the Benchmade Mediator so bad. Okay, nice Brewer. An Asher. Okay. Microtech Bounty Hunter. Okay. Adamus or Turret. Okay. Nice. Hey, what's up, CK? CK's in the house. You're not sure what you want next? Come on, Big Red. Microtech SOCOM Elite Apocalyptic Clip Point Blade. That one's a nice one, David. The Small Fixed Blade Skinner. We Angst, okay. For me, it's the new FFI. Fair and Forge. Oh, nice slick. Nothing still in your jammies, nice. Blade HQ Bug Out, Desert Warrior, Kalashnikov, The Matching Desert Warrior, Sack Times 3. It's the third one. Okay, nice. The Waypoint? Oh, yeah, I saw that. That's cool. Hidden Canyon's nice one. Got the Mini Proponent, Burlap. Okay, nice. They're cute jammies on top of it? Oh, man. We all picture, you know, picture like the flannel fluffy pair three zt0630 you can't find one i'm sorry g man jesse b's here what's up jesse mini bug out in pair three waiting for the 940 to be out of the co oh i know me too scott i may have put that on my last survey that they sent me from my orders took the tip of your thumb with your mandolin oh ouch spartan polis Ooh. Custom mini bug out. Whenever they get in the knife builder. Yeah, DE, that'd be cool. That should be coming pretty soon. 
I would imagine, you know, once we see the other products for the bug out, like carbon fiber, um, Damascus steel, those kind of things, or Damascus steel, I think then we'll see the mini in there. Miss buying a banner. Yeah, Gregory, I would buy it again, definitely. I bought the blue one. Um, I gave away a blue one on here as well. I received the black one as a gift. Um, I know Southern Edge Knife Works has them, so you can reach out to them. Uh, they just had it on their Instagram yesterday, I think. So if they don't have it on their website, reach out to them. I actually got my last blue one from uh, Smoky Mountain Knife Works, which was crazy. It came up. I was working a weird shift and I was up at like 2.30 in the morning and I was just surfing around and I saw that it was on there and available so I clicked it and ordered it and after I ordered it, it said it was out of stock and I'm like, uh oh, but they delivered it, so. New exclusive bug out in Black G10, yeah, that's nice. Artisan Colors, Centauri, Damascus, new SOGs, yeah, those are pretty promising. Some kind of big fixed blade for Tim. Has no clue yet. Oh, the one that he got from Peter uh, Monster, wasn't that the uh, the off-grid knives Black Mamba? Was that what you were thinking of there, Peter? Or uh, Monster? I think that's the one Peter, I had that one prior as well. It's pretty nice. Has a coin with it too. Yeah, they pulled all that stuff out of the, the custom shop, Rip City EDC, so you can only get it from them. So, Best Tech Junzi, Finger Benchman will add the mini bug out before the 940. Donut dessert wear. <laughs> <coughs> Excuse me. That's pretty funny. What's up, Richard? Richard's here. Welcome, Richard. Another member of Zach's Day of the Carry crew. That's awesome. Giant Mouse Ace Grand. You're on the third Arzen Calorie Centauri. Oh, really? Well, that's not fun. Yeah, there's Southern Edge Knife Works right there. Big Red posted in there. You can use uh, discount code 2 to get a discount. Zach15, Z A C H 1 5. Scorpion, okay. Yeah, the Mamba looks pretty awesome. It's a good one. It's definitely a good one. Tour Knives Phoenix. Or Tops. Tops Knives. What's up, Micah? What's the traditional on the tra table? That is going to be the Denim Micarta Rough Rider Work Knife. I think it's called the Work Knife. Work Knife, Workman's Knife. I just tossed something else off the table, but anyways, this this baby right here, beautiful scales, has some good action on it. Sixteen ninety nine. They're still available. It's a very 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 beautiful one. It's got a lanyard hole for the lanyard fans, so they can rejoice on that. Probably look good with a really blue and black one. Um, let's see here, but I needed to put this up here because this is another custom bench made that you can order from their custom knife shop or custom knife builder, but it's got red thumb studs and you know, red thumb studs. You got to go with red thumb studs, you know, it's kind of all started with the super freak. So happy to see that they've added that stuff to the, to the knife builder. Hopefully we'll be able to start buying those parts separately, but those are aluminum. So they got that shiny red to them, which is pretty fantastic. Okay. So let's see here. I want to make sure I got through everything I want to talk about today. Uh, we'll answer some questions. We'll maybe look at a few other knives that are here and I want to see maybe what you guys, what's up, Carl? Welcome. And red barrel spacers, yes. Put those in the in the shop so we can just buy them outright. Because we could add them to any benchmade that we have. Then, what a cool deal! And I know they have the knife, the knife custom knife shop as well. But you know, come on now. Let's see here. 
I thought. Da -da -da -da. There we go. So let's see here. Uh, also, the guy doing all the links today, that's our buddy JB over at Big Red EDC. Make sure and check him out. If you haven't subscribed to his channel, please do that. Um, he shares, he's the co owner of that title, you know, um, as one of the kindest ambassadors of the community. So make sure and check him out. I'm sure he'll put a link to his channel in there, but definitely, definitely check him out. So, okay. So let's get back into this. Let's see, where were we? Let's look at some of the questions that are out there. I think I lost my comments here, so give me just a second. I don't want to miss out on you guys, you know. Let me jump back into it so I make sure it's on there. It's always weird when the comments jump around like that. You're back, Aaron says back and forth with the crimson scales or the black. I want to see the red ones. Yeah, I think those crimson ones will look pretty cool. You know, they have the uh, the ones I showed already, the FRN crimson ones. There's Big Red's channel right there. Give him a follow. Make sure to check him out. He does an awesome thing called Saturday Knife Live, which we just had last night, which we had a hoot. We had a hoot at that one. It was so much fun. But 10 p.m. Pacific. Once a month, he'll do an early one. So kind of applies for everybody, no matter where you're at in the world. I don't know, Nick. That's a good question. Um, I've, I've seen a few of the styles that they've worked on, uh, some things that are in play, um, can't share those things, but I think everything's on the board, you know, they've done the, the blue carbon fiber, they've done the blue G10, um, I didn't bring it, but you guys saw the one that I carried last week and I showed on the channel, which had the, the blue infused carbon fiber, um, which was pretty sweet and they made that in house, so. All good stuff that you can't go wrong with. Chris has got a Benchmade Elite Tactical Carbon Fiber for 131. Oh, that's pretty good. That's Smoky Mountain. Okay. Yeah, that's a good knife. <laughs> Mikey falls asleep for SKL. Yeah, I, you know, I can't say this too loud, but I've set an alarm before. Because some Saturdays, well, a lot of Saturdays, I end up working extra. And, you know, I'll start at, you know, 5 o'clock in the morning. And by the time it hits 10 p.m., I'm a little sleepy. So there's been some times around 8, 8.30 p.m. where I've, you know, kind of set an alarm and kind of taken a little bit of a nap. So, oh, Hilltop Knives and Gears here. What's up, man? Working on mods as always. Yeah, man, welcome to Hilltop Knives and Gear. If you want to go back and watch... Saturday Knife Live, or if you saw it last night. What's up, Spirited Whiskey? Um, he did some amazing work on a couple knives for Big Red. Uh, just some custom stuff that he does, so definitely check him out as well. So it's good stuff. Yeah, the alarm's a big thing. I've said that before, and I'll tell you, I, I even got a little 30-minute nap last night before SKL, and it was quite awesome. So definitely helps. Oh, yeah, you're getting the Super Freak for your first Benchmade? Nice, Carl. Oh, he did good on your knife too, Penny. Right on. Yeah, it's fun once you get going, you know. You know that big red. Interacting with everybody. Having fun. It's good stuff. Oh, you just won a Tizor uh Was it the Bob Terzola? Virtual Show Lotto for one of the M30 Battleguard. Wow. That's cool, Spirited. Oh, nice, Deborah. Yeah, Deborah, if you're wanting to send it to me to put back together, I'll put it back together, definitely. My P.O. box should be listed on the channel here. If not, just send me an email or Instagram message. What's up, August West? Welcome, welcome. Oh, man. That's good stuff. Well, let's see. Let's clear a couple things off here. 
Yeah, you're welcome, BJ, man. You do some awesome work, man. That's that's the thing. We gotta recognize that, you know. Put a couple things away so we don't get hurt. Safety's number one priority. Now, I do have to tell you, I'm super pumped. Okay, cool, Deborah. Yeah, yeah, right on. We'll definitely do that. Um, I got my, I got locked in on the patches this week, so that's pretty cool stuff. So I, I had to, I was, I was really struggling between, yeah, having brunch with Zach right on CK. I was, I was really struggling between full stitched and the PVC patches, um, which, you know, PVC patches, you're looking at something like the one I just picked up here from Smoky Mountain. But they look pretty sweet. Um, and so, let me get this one out. So there's a PVC style patch. So it's kind of that rubbery PVC feel instead of the full stitching. And then there's stitching around it because it holds the Velcro that's glued on. Brunch with Zach. There you go. And so that's one of the things that is pretty cool. The PVC patches for Zach stuff look awesome. So Oh, nice. That's cool. Thanks, Nick. That's pretty sweet. Thank you so much. Oh, you tagged me in the pic? Did I respond? Or did you just did you just post it? Because I got to check that out if not. What's up, Rodney? Welcome, welcome. Yeah, so that's one of the things where the Zach stuff uh, patches are looking sweet. Um, as soon as I get the final draft, I'm, I'm working on the, the exact size or to do a die cut version. So I'm working with the, the company who's building it right now. So I should have the artwork tomorrow. And once it's finalized, then I'll send that out to you guys on Instagram so you can kind of see. But I'll probably post it up in my members only section first. So if you want to be part of Zach's Daily Carry Crew, you can check those out. You'll get a first look at those. So that's pretty cool stuff. And as part of being Zach's Daily Carry Crew, you are getting a little swag pack sent out to you the minute those come in. So good stuff right there. Yeah, don't forget to like the video. That's super, super helpful. Oh, okay. Yeah, Nick, uh, post it again or send me a direct message with it. Like, just send me the post again. Send it to me. I, 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 yesterday, I'll tell you what, yesterday was my last day of work, day six, and I was like struggling. And so I was trying to get caught up on all the, yeah, we're sending out a little swag pack, Gregory, to all the Zach's Daily Carry crew. So nothing too crazy, but I just want to send a thank you to you guys for all your support. Yeah, big red stickers too, heck yeah. Definitely, Morgan, we'll hook you up with something. Um, but that's one of the things, um, you know, I just want to say thanks. And it was really hard to get caught up on social media yesterday, so. Um, but I did it. So, I got caught up on social media, I was feeling pretty proud of myself, so. Yeah, Rodney, we're doing good, buddy. Another member of Zach's Daily Carry Crew right there. Rodney's awesome, so thank you so much. Uh, thank you to everybody who's donated for the Super Chat today. All that stuff goes back into the channel for these giveaways. And so when I, you know, when I order one of these for myself, I order a second one for you guys for a giveaway. Same thing with a finger cut kit. Um, let's look at what else we're going to give away today. So we're going to give away, let's put these off to the side maybe up here. Or at least that one. And that one. But we're going to give away this very cool Rough Rider Denim Micarta Work Knife. We're going to give away this finger cut kit, which is a necessity and very, very well should be part of everyone's EDC kit, or at least your home first aid kit. B for Baron, yes, I'm taken. I'm sorry. But we can still be friends. I'm down with that. Or are you just worried about my knife collection? <laughs> I got you. I got you. Um, we're going to do some Zach's 
swag. So you're going to get some swag in there. You're going to get some Zach stuff stickers. I got some new blue and orange ones. Um, so we'll throw those into the mix as well. Also want to toss in, let's see here. What should we toss into the matches? All the knives, yeah. <laughs> Gregory. Gregory's tracking down the, the likes. He's like, come on now. I do have to say there's like, I've noticed on quite a few people's streams that we've had a, a quite a few people that are like doing or not doing the like stuff. Yeah, definitely, Paul. You'll be getting some as soon as the patches come in. If you want some prior to that, send me an email with your info. I'm getting caught up on emails uh, today. I'm happy to send a couple out ahead of time. Um, we'll just get that out to you, especially being a member of Zach's Daily Carry Crew. I want to give back to you guys. So, Yeah, I always hit the like before it starts, definitely. I don't even know if it'll help me. There you go. You got some more likes on there. Thanks, you guys. Hey, yeah, that's that's the thing, Beaver. She puts up with a lot. Um, the other thing is that I have to have my second job to have my hobby. <laughs> so, you know what I'm saying on that? You know what I'm saying? So, that's cool, Don C. Yeah, you guys are all awesome. You guys hit it. So, yeah, thanks, Paul. That'd be great. Uh, let's do something else, though. Let's do... I was trying to find something really cool that we could throw in here. How about... I'm trying to find, I had them right, oh, they're right in front of me, seriously. Yeah, the patches look awesome, Brewer. I can't wait to show you guys, so let's do, we have a Shadowborn Hank. Yeah, exactly, Chris, most definitely. Nice, David, nice. So we're going to do a Shadowborn Hank. Just took this out of the package, but it's a beautiful, I want to show you guys what it is. Look at this. It has just some awesome patterns. It's got the samurai on there. Shadowborn Hank logo. If you guys haven't checked them out, I mean, the stitching is beautiful. Got a little extra thread, but that's just from the cutting. So check out Shadow. Shadowborn Hanks, that's some awesome stuff that he has, um, some beautiful colors, so we'll put that together with today's giveaway, along with some swag, you get a swag pack as well, and I know Maria won last week, and hers got sent out, so that's pretty, pretty awesome, um, but this one will be fun too, so let's see here, let's do a little fun little ditty, get a little piece of paper here, I'm going to get one of the favorite new knives that we got. Or not knives, new pen. It's a side click from Tactile Turn. Uh, blah, blah, blah. I'm getting all my updates for my fantasy football going on. So we're going we're gonna to choose one number. So it'll be one number. And we're going to do it between... Let's see. Let's do something we haven't done before. Looks like there's about 62 people watching. So we'll do about, we'll do 700 to 800. Oops, we'll do 800. <laughs> and we'll just choose one number. So the one number will be written up here. Let me write that off screen. Uh, one number, one guess only. We're gonna do uh, Price is Right rules. So closest without going over. Exactly, Mikey. One number, one guess. Uh, wait till you see the start on the screen, but let me write this down first because it's going to be very crucial. Very, very crucial that we get this right. Very crucial. Okay. So it is a three digit number. Let me fold this up. We'll put this on screen. Everybody's waiting to get their guests going. We'll leave it open for a few minutes. We'll talk knives. There's your guest right there. You'll see a start on the screen here from Big Red. Once you see that start on the screen from Big Red, 
you can go ahead and guess your one guess between 700 and 800 closest without going over thank you big red and if there are multiple people that are the closest or multiple people that guess it right on then we will have a round number two with just those individuals seeing some guessing all over the place seeing some guessing all over the place fantastic spread of numbers just fantastic sean lowe's here or sean lou pretty cool pretty pretty cool stuff um but you guys that the support you guys have is fantastic um so fun to be part of this community i'm actually really excited because we're gonna be doing some fun videos this week and you guys are gonna enjoy those. Not that you don't enjoy the other ones, but these are gonna be fun. Um, the, there's a there's a, a practical use video coming up for the Benchmade Cigar Cutter, the 1500 that I just released, the uh, open and unboxing of, and it's, it's pretty interesting. So it's not your normal review, so. What's up, Nay Falgo? Michelle says hi, what's up, Michelle? John's in the house. Snuggle Tummy coming in strong there. Deborah, Morgan. Yeah, I think there should be a link for Shadowborn Hanks' Instagram. Uh, just a little bit up if you scroll up. Uh, he posted that one up there already. You're either way over or completely wrong. Yeah, you'll have to work OT so you can watch. There you go, Chris. Oh, there's the Hank, there's the Shadowborn Hanks Instagram again. He's got an Etsy shop on there, so you can see what's available. You can also contact him if you're looking for something more specific, and he'll track it down and get it made for you. Just fantastic work that he does, um, and a great supporter of the community. So, you're playing for JB today. <laughs> Jade's got the guests in there. We'll leave it open for another minute or so. We'll get everybody's guess in, then we'll go back through. Oh no, number lock was off. Well, that's no fun. Andrew's got his in there, right on. You want to work, never mind the overtime. Yeah. Let me scroll back through and see what we're going to have. See if we have anybody that guessed it right on. Let's see here. Oh, I see some close ones. We'll have to sort that out in a minute or so. Can you wait a minute? Well, just post. Just post your numbers that you want there, Hal Hollywood. Internet problems are no fun. We had a huge outage with everything. Oh, you're in Brazil? Okay. Um, let's see. So, one of the things I'm excited for is to show you those videos, get those filmed up. Um, one of the practical use things is the mini bug out video that's coming out as well. It's going to be a similar torture video compared to the other 535 bug out that I did to see what would it take to break the bug out. Oh, we're waiting for Marina. She won last week too, so that's good. Okay, well, we're only going to have another 30 seconds or so, so hopefully she can get her vote in. That would be crazy though if she guessed it again. I'd be like, "Oh, there's some, there's some." I'd check my my office for cameras or something. Spirited whiskey's in there for seven thirty-five. Hopefully, we get that one in there for Marina. Was Hollywood? You want to post one in there for?
Excuse me, jeez. The T's taking a toll. Okay, we're getting close. We are getting so close. There it is. There's the stop. The stop signs are up. No more guesses. We are going to look and see what we have for the winning number today. And the winning number is 731, which I saw a direct hit on 731 today, which was... We got your guess in there, Marina. Thank you. We did. I saw Nice Slicers had it. I think I saw Nice Slicers. Only one guess. Nice Slicers had 731. Yeah, you're way over. Yeah. So that's pretty awesome. So anyways, Nice Slicers, congratulations. Um, Carl, very close, but a little bit late on the guess. Nice Slicer is going to send me his information again so I can make sure to get it mailed out this week to him. Hollywood's trying to change his guess. <laughs> and that's pretty cool stuff. So, anyways, no, I would say, you guys, if you could just do me a huge favor, check out the giveaway for our, our good friend Peter. And also, um, you're going to see an amazing, amazing and very generous uh, update video to this giveaway this week, uh, probably by Wednesday. Uh, I'm just gonna get the last couple things in the mail tomorrow. Uh, um, so I'm gonna get those up, you know, uploaded, ready to go, and it'll be pretty, pretty cool. So anyways, um, any other knives you guys wanna check out today or any questions you guys have before we wrap it up? Hey, you're welcome, Dane. Oh, Rodney, thanks, man. I appreciate it. Definitely, definitely appreciate it. Yeah, it's fun to be here this Sunday. Definitely, you guys. I appreciate you guys taking time to check it out. It's not the most ideal time, I think, for everybody, but you know, there's a good group of you on here, and that's you know, that's what I appreciate it. So, uh, one of the things is it's hard. I don't, I don't want to interfere with any of their channels. I know the other night, I did a, uh, I did a like a live premiere of my video, and I didn't realize at the same time that. Um, <laughs> The Metal Complex is doing his. So I jumped onto his afterwards. But did you guys see the video, the live with Metal Complex the other night? And did you see what I was able to get him to do through my donations and my nice request? Um, and if you haven't, you're going to have to let me know. So, uh, I'm not sure, Nick. I know there was one. There's a set that was uh, donated for a giveaway that's going to happen this next week, so I do have a set of thumb studs for those. So, yeah, monster was hilarious. The mustache was amazing. Um, you guys, just uh, just a uh, uh, FYI, you got to check out his live stream from Friday. So I basically he was he had a card system set up where he asked you to donate some money and every dollar you would get a vote and you know so it's kind of that little raising some money for the channel. But I said, hey, before we vote, you know, he one was a mustache, one was sharpen the uh, scalpel, the other one was, uh, what was the other one? Carry the open out for a week. So I said, hey, before we know about the mustache, you're going to have to pencil one on so we can see, like, what it's going to look like. So he flipped his camera around, took a Sharpie, and drew a mustache on himself uh, for me. So, I, you know, Metal Complex... Very much love and respect for doing that. That's pretty awesome of you to do that. So um, I did give him the five dollars to donate. You know his choice, and he chose the mustache. But unfortunately, the mustache did not win. He had to carry and is carrying the open L for a week. So, anyways, it was a fun little thing. The Tabasco sauce one was hilarious the week before, um, and then his wife uh, kind of boondoggled him after that and gave him uh, tequila instead of a glass of water. So. Yeah, I don't think that comes off very easily. And he did a pretty pretty thick uh, line on his face. So, anyways. Yeah. So, pretty pretty funny, pretty hilarious. But that's just part of the good times we have in the community. Um, and he's a good sport. So, anyways, it was fun. It was, uh, I was kind of shocked because I mentioned it and then he didn't catch it the first time. So, I mentioned it a second time and he caught it that time. And he's like, oh. Okay, well, I'll do it just for Zach. And so he did it. So it was pretty, pretty hilarious. So, 
Uh, let's see. Oh, whoa, really? Nice slicers, really? Add the knife to the giveaway for a therapeutic edge. Big Red sent you one. Man, okay. That's super cool, man. That's super nice. Okay, so we're going to put this, we're going to take this out. Um, I'm going to box that up right now. And we're going to put that in the, to the giveaway for a therapeutic edge. Man, much love, man. That is so awesome of you. Okay, so we're going to set that aside right now. And I'm going to put that in the stack that goes for the giveaway. Holy smokes. That, that gets a big red holy smokes right there. Thank you. It's very generous. That's very nice. So I will send you these other things. And I'll find a couple other things to send you to you because that's pretty cool that you did that. So I'll put this stuff off to the side. We'll get that out to you as well because that's pretty cool. So maybe we'll talk offline. Send me a direct message because I'd love to – I have a couple other things that maybe I could offer um, that would be pretty neat to, to have in there as well. So – Anyways, you guys, uh, you guys have an awesome day. I'm going to do my darndest to try to make um, a couple other live streams um, that people are doing this afternoon. I know Slicey T's doing his Bruising Blades, I think, today. He's got something going on. I haven't watched it yet, but living in his truck for 24 hours, he's trying to raise some money. So I don't know what that's all about, so i got to check into that. Um, and then, of course, uh, Justin, OCD for EDC. Um, he's going to be doing his tonight, 8 p.m. Central, I think. So 6 p.m. Pacific. So all sorts of good stuff happening out here in the knife community today. But you guys, keep doing what you're doing. Thanks for all your love and support. And um, should be able to pull that trans in 20 minutes. Nice. Have a wonderful, wonderful Sunday. Please remember to do something kind for someone this week. You guys have done so much already. And overall, you guys are the best. Seriously. You know, truly the best. So thanks for everything that you guys do. Look forward to some fun videos this week. And if you ever want to chat or have questions, hit me up on Instagram and direct message or on my email, zach.edc at gmail.com. Like I said, Got some cool patches coming for the members of the Zach's Daily Carry Crew, as well as they'll be available for people to purchase outside of that. And other than that, have a super duper groovy day. <laughs> I'll talk to you guys later. Take care.